Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music back with another daily practice tip for you. Today, I want to talk about something that's really important to me, warming up. When we play a brass instrument, or frankly, any musical instrument, it, it can be a very, very physical activity. If we think about all of the different muscular groups that are involved for us to play our trombone or euphonium or baritone or tuba, just all of the muscles alone that are involved in the face, not to mention you know the breathing and not to mention you know all of our arms, fingers, everything that has to happen, there's a lot of activity going on in our body and we want to prepare our body for that. We want it to get ready to be active, to move, just like we would if we were involved in any other athletic activity. And it's also great for us to be able to begin preparing mentally, to get us in the mindset that I am gonna be ready to play my instrument. So how do we do that? We warm up. The idea here is to prepare our body, prepare our mind for what we need to do. Now, what can a warm up look like for us on our trombone, baritone, euphonium, tuba, any brass instrument? Well, we can use a lot of the ideas we've actually already been talking about in our daily practice tips. We can start thinking about breathing. So we prepare our body to breathe. We do a lot of these great stretching exercises that we talked about last time, getting our whole upper body ready to breathe, ready to move, to help to move that air as efficiently as we can. We can practice our breathing, thinking about that 3D, that expansion breath, filling up our body, our lungs efficiently, allowing our body to move that air efficiently. We can do mouthpiece buzzing. Now that we've got the air moving, we take our mouthpiece, we may start buzzing on one note and then we may start to slur up and slur down to slowly start building our ranges. Always think about that air support, that control, that breathing. And always trying to create, even when we're buzzing, trying to make the best sound that we can. And we go through and we buzz and we start to feel like, oh, my lips are starting to move. I'm starting to get a good sound. Then we go to our instrument and we can use long tones. And again, we can do something as simple as take a scale and pull each one of these notes out and try to make it just beautiful and full and sonorous and try to make it singing in its quality. And again, always think about how we're using our air to create that. It's not going to happen with how hard we press the mouthpiece on our lips or how hard we clench down here. It's going to be all about that air support. some of that and all of a sudden we've spent a good five minutes maybe getting our body prepared to start playing and of course we can keep building from there if you talk to a lot of players depending on who they are what their approach is their warm-up may take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes or longer you can develop your own warm-up routine your own way to get your body prepared and to work a lot of on a lot of really great basic concepts here, but a few ideas here right away. <sighs> breathing, stretching to prepare to breathe, working on practicing our breathing, doing a little bit of mouthpiece buzzing to get our armature working, playing some long tones to really start trying to get everything moving, trying to start thinking about a big, beautiful sound right off the bat. And then we can go into other more technical exercises, songs, scales, etudes, other things we're working on there. But thinking about that warm-up routine, the today when you're practicing, maybe incorporate that into your practice. Think about some of these ideas, see if it makes a difference for you. So thank you very much as always for watching. Keep an eye out for more of these daily practice tips and happy practicing. Enjoy making music.